Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, the Most High, Ella, Yaha, Yodhet Vahuhet, Elohim, Neta Raf Neta, God in your modern day name, Kodowish, 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 Yodhet Vahuhet, Seba Yod, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, Say but your greetings and blessings to you in the name of the Lord God, Melchizedek, Yahweh, Adonai, Kodowish, 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 Adonai, say but your. This is Neo Fight DHG bringing you the continuation of I am still sounding the trumpet. Trumpet never gonna turn off. I am still sounding the alarm. 2024. Time of the alarm. Fall and end is the beginning of it. 2024. Fall and end of all those who have been holding you under captivity and curses as I've been showing you and telling you all along. These three cast of characters, they need no introduction. So I'm not going to spend any time on them. Your 70 years, children of Israel, children of Judah, children of Jerusalem, Levites, your 70 years are done. 1954 to 2024. So I am sounding the alarm. Second Ezra 6 verse 23. The trumpet shall be sounded. Children of Israel. I told you I'm not shutting off the trumpet. The trumpet. All of 2024. Sounding the trumpet. The alarm bell. Wake up. Time for you to wake up. Children of Israel. Sound the trumpet. The trumpet shall sound loud. Is it loud enough for you? Is it loud enough for you? And when all of you hear the trumpet, those who did not make themselves ready shall suddenly be terrified, afraid and frightened for what is coming when the trumpet shall be sound. I'm giving you that warning now, so when you get that trumpet sound, you are not terrified. You know it's your good day. Second Ezra 6, verse 23, giving back unto you, giving back unto you, children of Judah, children of Levi, Israel as well. Zechariah 10, verse 1, ask you of the Lord. Weren't you asking, when is your rain coming? When is your manna coming? When it shall be raining? And I told you it started in 2021. Your Messiah, the Prince Louis, set it off 17, 2017, and it wrapped up starting in 2021. Every year thereafter, it is doubled. But guess what happened in your 2024? The latter rain shall come down on your children of Israel. The second half of your seven year Passover rain. Turn up for the second half. Time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make what? Bright clouds. Pillars of light coming down on you. I tell you, who's not ready when that suddenly come down? Frightened and terror for them, children of Israel and Judah and Jerusalem and Levi. But for you, no frightening. Make bright clouds. That's what the Lord gonna do for you. Bringing down your 12 pillars of light for over the United States of America and give your showers of rain, children. Frightening time, I told you, for those who did not make themselves ready, did not do what is necessary, so this message could have dropped in their box and dropped in their notification. 
Children of Israel, know that this is coming. I shall give you showers of rain, showers of rain, clouds, pillar, fire, smoke. That's what your pillars of clouds are called. And the rain it's coming with the Holy Spirit, life force, ether, dew, manna, bread, blessed. Abraham's seed was promised bread and wine. Isn't that what Melchizedek, Yehovah, Adonai, gave unto Abraham bread and wine. This is the bread coming to you to make sure you can produce the wine. Wine is your blood, your new blood, reactivated by this water, changing your DNA, letting you form no blood. Children of Israel, everyone, every grass, the people in the field, the people in the world shall get it. But those who made themselves ready shall be quickened by this, shall be quickened by this. You are going to be made a quickening spirit where the natural man give up himself, exit the building, and the spiritual man come in. Everything told unto you in 1 Corinthians. Bringing back on you, everyone. Get it? In the world, but only those who prepare themselves, make sure they are the wise virgin, living righteously up until that time, shall get the benefit of the showers of rain, pillars of light coming your way, but we're not done sounding the trumpet. The Lord himself shall descend through his prophet, through his king at that time, King Lewis, coming down to you from the ninth to the fifth and jumping to the third to quicken you up. Descend from heaven with a shout. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not going to stop shouting for all of 2024. Sound in the alarm. Your shower of water, your shower of rain coming down with you. With that voice, who shall be speaking with the Lord's voice? Archangel Michael, a.k.a. the Messiah, a.k.a. Lewis, a.k.a. Son of Man, a.k.a. David, a.k.a. Elijah, any name you want to pick, shine up if your soul choose. And with the trump, the last trump. Hear me now. That's why 2024 so important. Who is going to be running as president for 2024? The last president of the United States to be, but not to be. Last Trump. He's talking about your Trump popping up right now. So when he pop up, something else has to pop up along with him at that time. Children of Israel with the last Trump, time of the Trump, on time to prepare yourself to arise on Exodus, your first Exodus coming your way. Children of Israel, Trump of the most time, on the dead in Christ, those who are dead right now because they are not attached to their water, turning back on their wine. Giving them back their new blood, but this is happening at that time. 2024, going into 2025. The dead in Christ shall arise first. Didn't I tell you? Judah. Judah shall be awakened first. Didn't it tell you in Zechariah? Judah shall arise first. Then Judah rising with who? The Levite. And then the remnants of Israel. Those who are who will be arising, awakening, giving their white garment of life, reconnected back to their geometria. Christ, geometria, over self body. Coming back. Their way firmly decided when First Thessalonians 4 verse 16 occur. That's what's happening. And John 3 verse 13 is giving you the description of what is going to happen. No man or woman has ascended to the heaven, to the higher heaven, the fifth to the ninth dimension. But he told 
thought came down from heaven and even who coming down as well. Son of man, Louis, King Louis, at that time coming down from heaven for the Lord thought, Melchizedek, Jehovah. So descending from heaven, the Lord in his representative, his emissary, the son of man, Louis, a.k.a. Israel, a.k.a. Jerusalem. So, children of Israel, though you have to come down, your over self body has to come down and collect you and bring you back up to the fifth through ninth dimension. But you're going only up to eight. That's why you're getting your geometria body, which takes you up to the eighth dimension. The son of man, Archangel Michael, will be getting back his ninth dimension access. Therefore, he's getting his Adam card man, so our body given back unto you the explanation for first Thessalonians 4 verse 16 telling you what's coming your way but it doesn't stop there revelation 10 verse 1 i saw a mighty archangel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud clothed with a cloud didn't i tell you back here the Lord shall make bright clouds and send down to you in the showers of rain. So what is Prince Louis, King Louis at that time, coming with the archangel Michael, come down from heaven, close with the cloud to give you back your cloud, give you back your rainbow. Coming, he's coming with his rainbow, all the colors that he matches up with, leading up to the ninth dimension, giving you back your rainbow as well. Was up on his head, the crown is back on Israel. Israel, you're getting your crown back, children of Israel in America, the black children of Israel and the Caucasian who tie themselves firmly fixed to Israel and Jacob. It's your opportunity now to get back your connection to your over self body. And his face was bright like the sun, hot like the sun, glowing like the sun. And his feet as a pillar of fire to open back to you. Again, I told you, your bright clouds, your pillars of fire, your pillars of smoke, your pillars of cloud coming back for you has described in Zechariah 10 verse 1 because that's what you've been asking for. My Lord, when are you switching us back on? Answered in this verse, Revelation 10 verse 1, when your prince, when your prince gets transformed to this mighty angel, when he goes up and what goes up, have to come back down and collect the remnant of Judah, Levite, Israel. That's your description of what is coming in 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16. But we're not done as yet. The alarm clock cannot turn off. John 3 verse 13. Match it with keys of Enoch. 117 verse 7. The vehicle of light that is your over self body. As your over self body must descend and collect you. Giving you back what is coming down and what is going back up with it. It is coming down for you. And you have to make your vibration, your frequency, your thoughts ready. So it can dome on you and collect you and bring you back into your geometry, your body. Redeem you. That's what it means to deliver you, to redeem you. And some parts of the Bible, it said to save you. You shall be saved. You shall be redeemed. All those who call upon the name of the Lord God, Melchizedek, shall be redeemed, shall be delivered. Meaning giving back your physical body, matching up with your over self body, making you into the Christ, Geometria body. Alarm sound of people so you know what is coming for you. So when you see these things coming, you're not terrified. Anxiously waiting because you had asked the Lord to send you your pillars of cloud, your pillars of fire, your pillars of light. Send it on to me, my Lord, so I can reattach to my over self body. That's the request that you made 
all along. First Corinthians 15 verse 52. Suddenly in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. Again, Trump keep popping up. There must be something popular about Trump. Trump in his 2024 bid is setting off this prophecy. Setting it off. I'm going to make sure you Walk through the prophecy that when the last trump is here, the trumpet of the most I shall sound. That's why I'm sounding the trumpet now. The dead, the spiritually dead, Judah, Levite, Israel, the first man that was cut off from his over self body and his 13 in one regenerative seed shall what? Rise up! Rising time, rise and shine. That's why I'm giving you your alarm clock. No, setting it no. So when this time come, rise and shine. Incorruptible. No more can you be corrupted by whomever. They could come from Canaan at the top, or his boss above him, or his boss above him, Balaam, Benelli, or Benelli's boss, Lucifer, and the fallen angel, all the way down to Vicar of Christ, all the way down to Cabal, and all kind of strange name people, and all the way down to the Gentile Esau Caucasian. Doesn't matter. You cannot be corrupted at that time. And we shall be changed. Second spiritual man coming. Immortal as immortal can be. Celestial as celestial can be. Getting back full access to your five elements. Earth, air, water, fire, spirit, spirit. Given back unto you. First Thessalonians 4, verse 16. Match it up back. Precept it back to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. Precept for precept. Psalm in the alarm. But we're not done yet. First Corinthians 15, verse 53. This corruptible body that you're now sitting in must put on the incorruptible body. The incorruption. Telling you. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. When this trumpet is sound off at the time of Trump, Donald Trump at his time is election time. And then marching up back with the dead in Christ shall get that light, that pillar of light. Four of them coming over America where the children of Israel are hard. And Raising them back up. Judah first. Levite next. The remnant of Israel after. Getting back their connection. Back to their full over self. But it's 13 in 1. Regenerative seed given back unto them. The incorruptible shall show up. Light on top of light. Over self body. Geometria body. Son of man. Son of God. Over self Adam Chadman, Gematria, son of man, son of God, Christ, anointed, and the mortal, the sickly man, the fallen state, the short lifespan man, no power man, that all these reptilian beings and dog man beings are holding hostage, done, must put on immortality, you hear me, put on immortality, children of Israel, your son of man, which is your King Louis at the time must come. Your sons of God, which are you, the Israel, Judah first, Levite, then the remnant of Israel, the sons of God must come forth incorruptible as incorruptible can be and put on your immortality. Life of the life of the life of the life. We shall go from mortal to immortal, having everlasting life. Second Ezra 2, 45 to 47, we shall put off mortal clothing and put on our immortal clothing. There we go, children of Israel. We have confessed ourselves in the name of the Most High. Ela, Yaha, Yodhe, and the Lord Thoth. Melchizedek, Jehovah, Adonai. Therefore, we're putting on the crown upon our head. Say, crown 
our Messiah, Prince King now, Louis Jerome Armstrong, come with the rainbow on his head. You know, children of Israel, getting back your rainbow as well. And you getting your rainbow as well. Who is that young man who placed the crown upon your head? Yes, Louis Jerome Armstrong, the son of man, the son of God, giving the other sons of God their crown, giving back unto you, children of Israel. You're getting your crown back. Judah, Levite, Israel, crown upon your head, making you immortal. Life of the life of the life of the life. Second Ezra 6, verse 23. Was sound in the trumpet? 2024, it's your time of joy, children of Israel. Same thing it's going to tell you in Second Ezra 6, verse 24. That is what's coming here, giving on to you at that time. 2024, leading into 2025, definitely going into 2026. French shall make war against French like enemy. Did you hear me a while ago coming your way? Civil war and world war. French neighbors, whether counties, countries, and nations shall make war against other neighbors, other counties, other countries, other states, other nations, all fighting like enemies. They were together. They came together before to hold you hostage. Now they can't hold you hostage anymore because you have exodus of the land of America and in the other parts of the world that you were being kept hostage. So they can't fight to hold you hostage anymore. So what? They're gonna fight among themselves. Why didn't you tell me these people were the true people of the most High? Were the true people of the Lord? You didn't tell me. We're going to fight over it because now they're gone and we're terrified and in all kind of problems. Friends, fighting like enemy on the earth, America, and those people living in America shall be afraid, terrified and frightened coming their way. You hear me? Those who did not make themselves ready, coming up to this time, frightening time, because the war, the civil war first, will be kicking off in America, because they didn't tell me these people were the true Israel. You had me looking in the Middle East, and now you have a price to pay for all the lies you've been telling me. That's the charge being laid against the leaders at that time. The springs of the fountain, the ocean water, the water, the manna, the bread, the life force, the ether, the blessing of the fountain, the Euphrates Gulf of Mexico, and the upper heavens, the fifth to the ninth dimension, shall stand still. It shall flow no more for three hours, three days. Here we go, children of Israel. I'm going to leave that one as a mystery for the next message we cover. i explain it some more. But to give you the terrestrial meaning of it, the ocean, which is Euphrates River in the Gulf of Mexico, Euphrates is the Gulf of Mexico, shall stand still, shall be parted, so the people can take their exodus. Levite, Judah, shall take there, Exodus, through the springs, the ocean of the Euphrates, Gulf of Mexico, they shall walk through it to their under ocean cities of refuge to stay there until they're ready to come back. Children of Israel are leaving you with that peace. But I am turning the alarm some more. It shall be thought. Who else it shall be? Don't it shall be whoever remain, whatever remnant of people left after all these things have happened. Don't I have foretold it to you. Don't I gave my messengers to tell you the information. Don't I gave your prophets to prophesy the information. Don't I have given you prediction to make sure you believe. 
Don't I have told you what would happen at the beginning. So you know the ending is fixed, firm and sure. Don't, don't I have foretold to you shall be safe. All the things that you were told you need to do and were going to happen so you shall be safe. You shall make sure you understand and move your way into what is coming and shall see my salvation preserving you from destruction redeeming you from sins and death delivering you from your enemies delivering you from your enemies at the end of my first world this present world, this present world is not the end. The fullness of glory doesn't abide in it. When you match up 2 Ezra 7 verse 112 verse 112 with 2 Ezra 6 verse 25, this is the end of my world, the first world, the present world, the corruptible world. And I'm telling you, I made two worlds because this world doesn't Abide in any glory. It is not the end. I have a second world prepared and ready for those who shall be saved, shall be delivered, redeemed, and be part of my second world. Children of Israel, children of Judah, children of Levi. Second Ezra 7 verse 50. For this reason... Because I know I am destroying this world and the wicked people in it. I'm going to put my righteous seed in this other world that I have waiting for them. Your third dimensional world, not too much good news for it. But the same earth on a fifth dimensional level, that is my second world. For this reason, the Most High and the Lord had made not one world, but two that's why I'm saving my righteous seed for the second world. When you see back here, Second Ezra 6, verse 25, the salvation and the end of this first world done. So my saved, my redeemed, my delivered people of Israel, Judah, Levi, and the remnant of Jacob, and the remnant of the Caucasian Gentile shall be in that new world. Old one has to go. The world of immortal has to take over. Children of Israel. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. Oh, he thought, my Caucasian, you're ruling right now, but you're ruling a world that's being ended and going out of business. And you have to make your way ready for your second world where you shall not be in any rulership position. In fact, in fact, Isaiah 14 verse 1 and 14 verse 2 give you your role. You shall be cleaving unto Jacob and you shall be and you shall be servants now to Jacob your rightful position among the children of Israel firmly decided and it's given back unto you in the book of truth the book of the law Isaiah 14 verse 2 is talking about you my Gentile Caucasian Esau brothers and sisters that's your role because he Esau is the end of this present world that I told you I'm bringing to an end in 2 Ezra 6 verse 25. And Jacob and Israel is the beginning of that new world, that new second world that come after firmly decided. So if Jacob is getting that new world and you are now ruling this old world, do you think you're going to rule the new world? No, no, gossip. Now the thing goes like that. Jacob shall rule in the new world and Esau's rule shall end with this present world. When it tell you it is ending, every indication is telling you that world is ending children of Israel. So don't tie yourself fixed and firm to Esau world. Make sure you do what you need to do to be delivered from this present world and you can get your salvation preserving you from the destruction coming to this world of Esau redeeming you from the sins and mortal death of Esau's world and delivering you from your enemies Esau among them vicar of Christ Khazars Illuminatis 
all kind of different Jesuit, all the way back up to the vicar of Christ, going all the way back up to the Canaanite, moving from the Canaanite up to Benelli, from Benelli up to Lucifer and the fallen angel. All your enemies, you shall be delivered against them because they are stuck on the fourth dimension. And you, at that time, Judah, Levite, remnant of Israel, shall be vibrating from the fifth dimension. No fourth dimension being can rule over you, nor do anything to prevent you. Children of Israel, 70 years, children of Israel, the Lord has put before you, Judah, Jerusalem, Israel, Levite, a blessing of life. Follow my commandment and the curse of death. Follow the Gentile way if you want to get that curse and death. Stay on your truth, life. That's the word coming from the Levite being told to give you by my Lord. Melchizedek, Jehovah, Adonai, choose life. Blessing of life. Follow the commandment of the Lord. Lead the Gentile way. Lego the Gentile. Lego Jezebel. Lego Vika. Lego Kabal. Lego Cain. Lego Benelli. Lego Balaam. Lego Baal. Lego Lucifer. Let them go. Release them. Send them back to whence they came. Charles A or Charles B. A is the blessing. B is the curse. A, the one I wanted to choose. B, the one you're living through right now. Get out of B and jump into A. Matthew 6, verse 24. No man or woman can serve two masters. You're going to have to choose one. You cannot serve the most high and the Lord and serve Baal, Mammon, Mammon, riches, wealth, God, little G, God, half wealth and riches. You're going to have to let him go, children of Israel. Ah, oh, if you want to stay with Luke 69, I say unto you, if you make yourself friends of mammon continue to hold on to that little g god mammon tempting you enticing you with riches and wealth unrighteousness is his business and if you stay with his business you shall be unrighteous as well and when you fail mammon and his friend may receive you into their everlasting hey these the abyss coming their way and they want to make you a part of that abyss by letting you go chase back at them. Let them go. Children of Israel, number one choice. I am going to flood you with your choices that you need to encounter right now, hand in front of you, face to face with you, and you got to make your choice. Make your choice. Choose the blessing. 3, 9, 5, 16, 11. And then I will remember my contract, my pledge, my agreement with the children of Jacob, children of Israel, that I have made with my people. Children of Israel, the Lord speaking to you right now. My people, Jacob, my people, the Lewis, the Lewis people, the black race in America and worldwide. House of Israel, they are caught. I will bring my gospel. I will bring my law. I will bring the fullness of my gospel to you. That's who's getting back the fullness of the gospel. That who's getting back the fullness of the gospel. Choice B, the curse. 3 Nephi 16 verse 10. And when the Gentile shall sin against everything, I have told them not to sin again. Reject my gospel. Lift up their pride above all nations, above all people. In America shall be filled with all manner of lying Lies, 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 deceits, mischief, hypocrisy.
crossing. Murder, murders, murders. Priestcraft, priestcraft, priestcraft. Oh, don't. Oh, kind of secret, wickedness. When they have done all those things and have fully rejected the fullness of my gospel, I will take away the fullness of my gospel from among the Gentiles. That's why I tell you, the Gentiles, they do not know God. They do not know Lord. Those Melchizedek, your head, what? He did not marry them. Took away the blessings and gave it over to them temporarily until you get back your sound mind. I will bring the fullness of my gospel from among the Gentiles. Children of Israel, make sure you know choice A waiting for you. You got it back. You got back the knowledge of the gospel. You got back the blessings of the gospel. You got back your path to be part of the covenant. 2024. Step right into it. Hallelujah. The Gentile. Everything I show you. The Gentile going out of business. 35. 16. Verse 12. The blessing. 35. 15. Verse 23. The curse. 16. Verse 12. The blessing. I will show you. Jacob. Judah. Israel, Levite, the house of Israel, that the Gentile, you hear me? The Gentile shall not have any power over you. Want me to say it a little louder and clearer for those who standing way past the goal line. Yes, the house. Of Israel, the Gentiles shall not have power over you. Done, done, done. But I will remember my covenant, my agreement, my pledge to you. Israel, Jacob, Levite, Judah, the house of Israel, worldwide, you shall come to know the knowledge of the fullness of my law, my gospel, and my truth. Children of Israel, blessing back on you, and remember, the Gentile have no power over you. That's why I can come here and tell you confidently, they have no power. Don't know the most I know of the Lord, and they are the children of sinfulness. 25, 15, verse 23. They understood, made not talking about you, children of Israel, the ones getting the message and the ones that did not want the message. You understood the Lord not that I said unto you, they, 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 the Gentiles should not at any time hear my voice. But you understood. You kept listening to the Gentile coming up with prophecy and coming up with all kind of Bible interpretation. None of us up. You cannot be getting no interpretation from the Gentile in these times coming to you on your YouTube or on your screen or in any groups you belong to and reading and listening to their version of what your Bible is saying. They shall not hear my voice. So whoever voice they're hearing and coming back to give you, throw it out. Dash it away. Throw it away. Understand me not anymore. Though I said they shall hear my voice. My people shall hear my voice. My people shall know my voice. And they understood me not. But nay, of IDAG. Go tell them again. And I'm telling you again. Understand the Lord. That the Gentile should not at any time hear my voice. Though. I said that unless they can go and connect to the Holy Spirit, Miriam and Miriam is already connected to you. It's well. 
children of Israel. Get what the Lord is saying? Move away from listening to the voice of the Gentile. Not the voice of the Lord speaking through them at this time. Yes, but we're not done as yet. With that blessing and that curse, 3 Nephi 15 verse 22, another curse coming up for anyone firmly tying up themselves with the gentle and they still not understand me, the Most High and the Lord, saying to the house of Israel, saying to the house of Jacob, that continue to listening to the Gentile Caucasian government in America, especially my people understood me not for my people. Suppose it had been the Gentile, for they understood me not that the Gentile should be converted through their preaching and teaching. You are the teacher. You are the preacher and the teacher of the Gentile. Why are you listening to your student? Why are you listening to your student? Trying to teach you. You are the teacher to teach your student. They shall be converted. They shall be taught the fullness of the gospel through your children of Israel. Understand the Lord that the Gentile have no more power, no more authority, no more knowledge, or whatever they think they had. No more of the job. Servants going back to being servants and the rightful rulers, caretaker of the planet, stepping forward. Children of Israel, stay with that blessing. Know that the Gentiles have no more power. Move away from them. Let them go. Children of Israel, separate from them. Charles A, Charles P, Revelation 3.11. That is the choice A, the blessing, the curse. Now we're talking about your food and your liquor and your sex. Proverbs 23 verse 21. Blessing. Behold, I come quickly. Hold thoughts fast which you have with you right now. Hold thoughts fast which you have been told all along by Neophy the AG and Bitter Maccabeus and the Prince Louis Jerome Armstrong Jerusalem. Hold that fast. Food. Alcohol, sex, transmute negative energy to positive energy. Those are your fast that those, those, no man take your crown. Those, no man take your crown. None of them take the crown that those has placed back on your head. 2024 by eating their bad food, getting back. Farming, drinking alcohol, when that rubbish should not be anywhere close to you, neither either going into your body. Sex, cut it down to zero, zero, zero. Save your energy for better things to come and better things to do. Transmute darkness, negative Negative, all kind of disruptive behavior that you have. Change it. Renew your mind to positive things, energy things that uplift you, that promote love, peace, harmony. Get rid of that chaos in your life. That is your fast. Hold your fast so no one take your crown, your kingdom, your upper temple, your garden of Eden, your connection back to the most, your seven locks that they cut off when you were Samson, children of Israel, or the curse. Charles B. Proverbs. 23 verse 21. The drunkard drinking up him alcohol, partying like there's no end. And the glutton always stuffing your belly, always thinking about food, eating the most impure food. Gluttony shall come to only poverty, famine, famine. 
poor health and spiritual death. And drowsiness, slumber, spiritual death, stupor, shall a close of rags be upon that man or that woman. Shall a close of rags be upon that man or a woman. Close a man in rags, drunkenness, alcohol, and bad food. Get your back into your stupor stage, your spiritual death, your sleep. Keep you fast asleep with the gentle. So give them back them liquor. Give them back their liquor. Give them back their food. Go back to Genesis 1 verse 29. Seeded fruits, herbs, vegetables shall be your meat, your spiritual, not rich men, your food and the only food. Give them back their medicine. Give them back their pharmaceutical as well. Ezekiel 47, 12 tell you, only leaf, leaf, leaf shall be your medicine. Never tell you about the pharmaceutical to volunteer to let them work. Witchcraft and spells on you. Witchcraft and poison on you. That is pharmaceutical. Witchcraft and poison. Give them those things back. Move back to the commandment of the Most High and the Lord. God said. That's how Genesis 1 verse 29 start out and give you the information. Genesis 9 verse 4. God said, don't eat no meat of any kind, whether blood or no blood or whatever they come tell you. And if it fly, if it swim, if it walk, no eat it. No, not talk. If it creep, do not eat it as well. Get back your fast the right and proper way. Enoch 104 verse 45. Bless him. Match it up with the drunkard on the right hand side of your screen. Once a man or a woman has gone beyond their physical limitation of the self and their desire to only serve their fellow man and their fellow woman. To serve his fellow man and his fellow woman. And the father, he has purified his or herself. He has purified himself. She has purified herself from carnal predilections, sexual lust, excessive eating, alcoholism, fleshly needs, pleasures, needs, habits, enticement, and practices of all kind of forbidden things that your Lord did not tell you to go do. Concupiscence. That's what it's telling you. Once you purified yourself of your concupiscence and manifest love, love, love sufficient to receive what? Your garment of light, not no garment of rags. No clothes of rags for you. Clothes of light coming your way. Get rid of your concupiscence. All your lust, all your desire for gluttony, all your desire for liquor, all your desire for sex, all your desire for material things, all your desire for love, money, sex, all kind of things and vices. Get rid of them. Give them back to whoever can give them to you. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. Marching up the blessing with choice B now. First Corinthians 6 verse 9. No, you children of Israel, slowing down this one for you because you're having a lot of trouble with this area. No, you children of Israel, no, you're not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. They shall not get any outer garment of life. They will stay in their rags. Don't you know that? The unrighteous, who are they? Be not deceived by the fornicators. All kind of sex. Sex and more sex, that's one of the meaning. But the second meaning and the most important meaning is those who have forsaken the true Most High and the true Lord and got married and tied themselves with idols and little G-God and little L-Lord. Those are the fornicators. Idolaters, as they're called as well. But fornicators can be. You're running down sex. 
can't get into the kingdom, can't get the outer garment of light if you're running up and down, frigging, 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 effing, 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 everything inside and worshipping idols. Yes, those statues in your house and all those shrines and altars you set up for whatever reason. Yes, that's an idol worshipping idolatry. No idolaters can get in. No adulterers. Yes, two meaning for adulterers. And the physical, in the physical, you go cheat around on your spouse. You go cheat around on your loved one. And you keep having multiple partners over and over and over. And you don't cut it off. At this time when you're being told, give up sex. None, none, none. And then you go commit adultery. Go have other little G God and abandon the most high and the Lord. You separate yourself from them because you want to go serve other gods. Can't work. No, can't work. Children of Israel, you have to choose one master at this time. That was the first one I covered with you. No gay stuff, no effeminate stuff, no man with man, no woman with woman. That's what effeminate mean. Romans 1 verse 26 and Romans 1 verse 27 have already fixed up how the most high and the Lord view that thing. Romans 1 verse 26. Woman with woman is not natural, is against nature. Romans 1 verse 27. Man lusting after man, man with man, is unsightly, unseemly, not what I want you to do. It's an error. It's an error. 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 Wrong bang. Big X. Marking through it. So, if you think you're going to continue your effeminate stuff and get into the kingdom of heaven, you're firmly fixing yourself with whoever can give you that word. Gentile, Caucasian, compliments of vicar of Christ, compliments of the cabal, compliments of Canaan, compliments of Balaam, compliments of Baal, Lucifer. So, don't abuse yourself. Don't mix up yourself. Don't join yourself with all those mankind. Those that are not man, but they pretend to be man. They have a snake head and some of them have a dog head. They have a snake head, the reptilian ones from Balaam. And the ones with the dog head, they are from the Canaan. C-A-N-I in Latin. Tell you who they are. Children of Israel, curse. Move away from their fornicating. Whether you're having a whole bunch of sex or you're worshipping idols and setting up all kind of shrines and worshipping unknown things that you don't know where they're coming from. Do not be deceived. Idolatry. Get rid of it. Adultery. No, no, no. Let go those God and let go those multiple partners and your gay stuff. Get it under control. It's your two energies trying to join. You have one of your energy. Out of balance with the next energy. And it's leading you in one direction. Balance it back. Move it back to who you truly are. Balance your feminine energy and your masculine energy. And don't let one of them get above you or beyond you. So, children of Israel, go for the blessing. Get rid of your carnal habits, your carnal things, your concupiscences. Get rid of them and always go back to love. L-O-V-E. Love is fulfilling my love. Told unto you in the book of Romans. Love is fulfilling my law. Love the Lord with all your thought and all your mind and all your soul. That is the first major commandment. And the second one. Love your fellow man and your fellow woman as you love yourself. Do unto them all the things you would want them to do unto you. Love that will get you through these times at this particular point in time. 2024. All your energy turning back on for you to be who you should be. Revelation 17 verse 2. Another curse marching up back with you. Purifying yourselves. Practice love and serving your fellow man and woman. And move your thoughts back to the Lord. Though, Melchizedek, Jehovah, and my father. 
Ela, Ya, Yod, He, Vahu, He. Revelation 17, 2. With whom the kings of the earth, we know earth, we know earth is America. So the kings, the presidents, and the other leaders of America have committed, done, engaged in fornication. What is the meaning of fornication, you might ask? Unlawful commerce, economics, robbing the people, robbing up. Everyone on lawful commerce with their maritime admiralty law, commerce, idolatry. That's the big one that has gotten America. And you, oh my Israel, you, oh my Judah, you, oh my Levite, you, oh Jacob, you, oh Gentile, into problems with the Lord. Idolatry, forsaking the true God and worshiping Idol gods, little g gods, relations, relationship, relationships with demons and evil spirit. That is fornication given back unto you. Americans, the inhabitants of America, the inhabitants of America, the eaglets, the people living in America have been drunk, stupid, stupid, overpower, made stupid with the wine, doctrine, law, teaching, evil spirit, and the actual alcohol of her fornication. That's what happened to the people living in America under these doctrines set up in the last 70 years by who? Jethal! Giving you all the fornication, drunken you with all those doctrine and laws and teaching and all the evil things. They have vicar of Christ come put in the American head for them to do. Children of Israel, Ahab is the name given Ahab practiced more wickedness than any other leaders of the children of Israel. Ahab practiced evil in the sight of the Most High and the Lord, and who stirred him up? His wife, Jezebel, stirred him up. The vicar of Christ, the Roman Catholic Pope, stirring up Ahab, which are the Goma Gentile Caucasian. Storing them up to practice evil on the land of America, fornication, whoredom, harlotry, and the number one witchcraft. But that is choice B. That is a curse firmly fixed upon America. And they're going to fall because of all these things they have committed. They have not turned around themselves, taken away their self-desire, served their fellow people, make sure all their citizens are okay. They're busy sending your money. They're busy sending your money and your resource over to Ukraine, over to fake Israel over there, giving all kind of people your money when they should be using it on their people, freeing up things for you, making sure you have all the things and purifying you so you don't practice any more of those carnal concupiscences, those carnal predilections. That's what they should have done, practicing love. Instead, they're around the country, around the world, practicing hate, war, setting themselves up for civil war, setting themselves up for world war as well. No garment of light coming to them. Get yourself out of their grasp, people. Kings, of America, the leaders of America, they have committed these things and you are knee deep in it if you don't move yourself out of their system, out of their doctrine, out of their law, out of their schools, out of their teaching, and out of them church. Most I never send you in no church to begin with. Revelation 9 verse 4, that is the blessing coming back for those who were smart enough to move themselves out of what Goma Gentile Caucasian giving them to eat, to drink, and to think of. If you move yourself back to what the Lord and the Lord's prophets are telling you, you're going to change your vibration. The food, the food, the food is the quickest way to change your vibration and to change your thought. That's why it came the first First page of your book. Eat the right food. Don't suffer from the famine. And you shall get your vibration to move back. To connect back to the blessing. To the spirits of the Most High. And of Miriam that want to come back on you.
So the Lord commanded them, the fallen angel, they had to listen to the Lord, though they should not hurt any grass of the earth. What are grass? People, the righteous seed of the earth, America, neither hurt any green things. If you're vibrating in green, they cannot touch you. If your vibratory aura is green, they cannot touch you. And I'm going to put up on the screen all the things, all the emotion you need to be acting out, living by, to keep your emotion in green and above. Green, two shades of blue, are the purple, the violet, the ultraviolet. That's where you want to keep your vibration. So, the instruction go out when the fallen angels are set loose upon where? America! Instruction given unto them. They have to listen to the command of the Lord and the Most High. And it told unto the fallen angel, you shall not hurt any of my righteous seed. Anyone with the seal of the Most High in their forehead. You can't touch them at all. And anyone vibrating in green and above, you can't touch them. But if they're vibrating in yellow, orange, or red, they're all yours. Children of Israel, neither touch any one of them, but only those men which do not have the seal of the Most High in their forehead because they're vibrating below green. Get this one right, children of Israel. Food, your thoughts, get rid of liquor, your food, pure food. Go back to Genesis 1 verse 29 and Genesis 9 verse 4 and Ezekiel 47 12. Your food, your medicine. Make sure you follow those instructions. That's the commandment that you're being given. Back again by the Levite. And make sure no alcohol in your system, water, or natural juice that you yourself squeeze. Not the one given unto you in a supermarket with strange ingredients in it. No! I'm gonna go back to what Daniel asked for. Paul's vegetable and water. Cut back your sex to zero. Cut down your sex to zero. Sex, rub your vibratory aura and bring your back down into the red or orange territory. Get rid of that and transmute all negative thoughts that come into your head quickly. Change it to a thought going in the opposite direction. A thought of light, harmony, love. No chaos, no fear, no anger, no hate, no jealousy. Get the opposite of those and you shall stay green and above. Genesis 25 verse 25. It's telling you who is going to collect you with that curse. Genesis 25 verse 25. And he came out red. Who came out red? Esau, Goma Gentile, Caucasian came out red. That's his vibratory field given back unto you. And red can't get you nowhere in the kingdom of the most. You hear me? Red gonna lock you out of the kingdom. And when your Lord is raising back up, stirring back up, Zerubbabel and Joshua, the priest king, to come stir you up Vibrating in red, I don't have no good news for you. Change that curse. Same thing going back to Revelation 6 verse 4. Lucifer, Baal, Balaam, Vika, Kabbal, all of them, including Canaan with his dog head, all of them vibrating in red. That's the red given unto them in 6 verse 4 of Revelation. Red! That horse was red and power was given unto him to take what? Peace! The Most High and the Lord are telling you, you need peace at this time. Peace taken away from the earth, America. Now you can join up with that team. They're running your country at this time in red. Him with a sword, great sword, to come to war, civil war, and world war, coming to earth, America, firmly fixing you in red. Stay away from their war. That's why I told you in Second Ezra, prepare yourself for battle, but be like a stranger. 
Prepare yourself for battle, but be like a stranger. Be like a stranger to their war, their civil war, and their world war, and you will not get your vibration to be red. Stay with your vibration green and above. Let them go war and kill off themselves and miss out on the kingdom of the most. Because they don't have no seal of the most in their forehead. Children of Israel, you're getting back your information. Time for your blessing to continue. Romans 12 verse 2. Be you conform to this world? No, no, no. Do not conform yourself to Esau, Goma Gentile, Caucasian, and vicar of Christ, Canaan, Balaam, and all of these red beings. Well, but be transformed by the renewing of your thoughts. That's what you need right now. Lego their red thoughts. Lego their orange thoughts. Lego their red, orange, yellow thoughts. Lego their emotions that they've been giving you in all the colors that's gonna trap you below green. Prove those good by doing good things. Prove those good by doing as he command of you and what is acceptable to the perfect will of the most high and of the lord do good love 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 keeps your vibration in blue that's where you want to be peace love keep you in blue that's where you want to be first thessalonians 4 verse 5 Continue with their concupiscence. Continue with their concupiscence. And it will get you outside of the most high perfect will. And what is acceptable and good. And lock you firmly and fix into the curse. Children of Israel. The Gentile which know not God. And they don't know what is thought goodness. They don't know what is acceptable to those. They don't know what is good to those. They don't know what's the perfect will of those. And they don't know what's the perfect will of God. They know not God. You should be teaching them, not them teaching you. You hear me? You should be teaching them, not them teaching you. I have given you everything within your scripture, your book of law, your book of truth, to prove whatever I am telling you. Never come to you and give you anything unsubstantiated because I felt like talking from my own invention. Not Nagasa! Proof on top of proof, receipts on top of receipts. Leave out their lust of concupiscence, love and desire for ungodly things and unlawful things, carnal things. When he tell you, you got to get rid of your carnal predilection. You got to get rid of your carnal predilections. Predilection is the same as your concupiscence. You got to get rid of them. Move away from the Gentile, the master of concupiscence and predilection. Children of Israel, firmly decided. Second Ezra 14, verse 34. If you will then rule over your minds and discipline your thoughts, you shall be kept live, live, live. You shall get live. That's the blessing coming your way. After death, after the end of Pisces, the age of death, you shall obtain mercy, mercy, your eternal life. That's your blessing coming back if you rule over your thoughts, which is the same as be transformed by renewing of your mind. They're saying the same thing. One in Roman and one in Second Ezra. Rule over your mind. Rule over your mind. Discipline your thoughts. You shall be given life. 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 Make sure you're not following Luke 21 verse 24. They shall fall by the edge of the sword. They shall fall by war. Seven sieges that we had gone through. Yes, we have been falling. But the time now for you to pick yourself up. Led away captive in all nations. Yes, Jerusalem went through that. They were trodden down by who? The Gentiles. That's what happened as well. Until when? The times of the Gentile is done. 
done, done. Oh, the work firmly ended. 2024. Time of the Gentile. Done, done, done. So if you want to go follow them still, if you want to go follow them still, stay trodden down by them than to rule over your thought, which is telling you, whoa, what the Gentile have is very enticing. I'm going to stay there. Leave it out. Leave it out. Let it go. Get rid of their thoughts, their doctrine, their laws, their philosophy, and move back to the commandment of the Lord. Return unto the Lord. That will keep you alive. Not what the Gentiles are doing. They're certainly in red color and they're moving further and further away out of the perfect will and the acceptable means and the good deeds of the Lord. Thoth, Melchizedek, Jehovah. My Lord, Thoth, Melchizedek, Jehovah. So I present to you again the blessing choice A and the curse choice B. Keys of Enoch 104. Your carnal predilection. You getting rid of them. Stop, stop, stop your selfishness and serve your fellow man and your fellow woman. Turn your thoughts back to the most high and the Lord. Purify yourself. Manifest love. You shall receive your garment of life. Choice A. Choice B. Stay in your loss. Continue in your loss. Of concupiscence that the Gentile who know not the most high who know not the Lord come and give you. Don't want choice B for you. Choose life. Choice A. Choose life. Choice A. Children of Israel. Apocalypse of Elijah. One. I've been telling you about your fast food. Pure food. No alcohol. Cut back your sex to zero. Transmute. Change all your negative thoughts into positive thought. Renew your mind. Therefore, the deceivers who oppose the fast won't deceive you anymore. Hear me? Levites, my wise men of the land of America, concerning the deceivers who will multiply in your lot at home. At the end of your seven years, they multiply hundred times, hundred times, hundred. Who at the end of your last time shall multiply. They will set down for themselves doctrine, philosophies, laws, and all kind of concupiscence which do not belong to the most high and the Lord setting aside the laws of the most high. But the Levites are back to give you the clear and the understanding of the law. Children of Israel, those who have made their belly, their gut, their stomach, their gluttony, their impure food, their God saying, the most I fast, the most I fast, don't exist. The most I fast, the most I fast, doesn't exist, but not no go so. They're out of their mind. Nor did the Lord and the Most High create your fast, not no go so. They still out of their mind, making themselves strangers, strangers, strangers to the covenant, the agreement, the promise. The pledge of the Most High and the Lord to Melchizedek, Jehovah, Adonai. Children of Israel, your fast exists. It's tied into your covenant. Don't rob yourself of your glorious promise of eternal life. Getting back your regenerated seed, seeing the good 
blessings of the Lord both. Melchizedek, your help. Therefore, don't let these people lead you astray. Jezebel, Jezebel, and the Gentile. Don't let them lead you astray with the doctrine of Balaam and the law of Balaam and the law of the Canaanite and the vicar Jezebel who come give it to the Gentile to give you laws and doctrine that do not belong to the most. That's why it's a the Gentile. No, not God. No, not the Lord. Don't. Making it crystal clear for your choice. Eh, say the scripture. Abraham believed in the most high. Ella. Yeah, your head, Bahu, hey, how the Lord told me, Chasinic, your head, wah, how do I, and it was quoted to Abraham, and all the seed of Abraham, the descendants of Abraham, as righteousness, believe in the Lord and the Most High. Accept and trust and loyal and dedicate yourself and commit yourself by knowledge and wisdom to the Most High and the Lord and leave alone the lies these fallen ones come and give you. That's your blessing counting your back to righteousness. Curse choice B. Second Ezra 15 verse 4 For every unbeliever shall die in his unbelief, in her unbelief. Curse coming your way. Unbelief. Curse coming your way. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. John 3 verse 15. That is the blessing. Those whosoever believeth in him. Those. That's who I'm talking about. You need to believe it. Whosoever believeth in those should not perish but have everlasting life. Eternal life. That's your blessing coming back. Because you believed in the Lord. Oh, Second Ezra 15 verse 4. The curse of your unbelief. In the most high. And the Lord unbelievers shall die. In his or her unbelief. Coming back again. Unto you. Again. Blessing. Second Ezra 15 verse 3. Fear not. Fear not, fear not, fear not, no plot against you. Do not be troubled by the unbelief of those who oppose you. I shall deliver you from them. Take on Ezra 15 verse 4. For every unbeliever shall die in his or her sin. Not done with you as yet. We're not done as yet. Choice A, Joel 2, verse 32. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, don't, don't. You see, you're that written in italics, telling you the change of the name of your Lord. Those whosoever shall call upon your name shall be delivered. That's coming back to your children of Israel. Curse choice B. First Kings 18 verse 26. This I'm giving to you, Gentile. This I'm giving to you, Gentile. And all those who fix themselves firmly on the Gentile, all the way back up to Vicar of Christ, Canaan, Bidel, and Baal. They called upon Baal 
from morning until noon, saying, Oh, Bal, hear us. Let me repeat it for you one more time. In case you want to stay fixed and firm to the Gentile, they called upon the name of Bal, Lucifer, Dagon, from morning until noon, saying, Hey, Dagon, hear us. But there, but there was no answer, no voice, no answer. That's what you get when you call upon the name of your little G God. Yes, that's what you get when you call upon your little G God. You can call from morning until noon and until the sun go down. No voice. No answer coming to you, firmly putting the curse back on you and leaving you in a scamper by yourself when the time get critical on you. That's what you get when you worship and you follow Baal and all his friends. Giving back unto you, children of Israel. Acts 2 verse 21. Those whosoever shall call upon your name shall be saved. Same thing, give again. Firmly, firmly giving back unto you. Your deliverance, your redemption, your saving. First Kings 18 verse 26. For all those who want to continue calling the name of Baal, calling the name of Balaam, calling the name of Benelli, calling the name of Cain with his dog head. Certainly, this is coming to you. Call upon the name of Baal from morning till noon. Say, oh Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, no answer. Gone, gone, gone. Leave you at the last minute to go defend for yourselves because you walked away from the true Lord and the true most high. Big G and Big L, children of Israel, doctrine and covenant, 45 verse 25. That is your blessing coming your way, children of Israel. They, the children of Israel, they, Judah, they, Levite, they, Ephraim, they, Israel, they, Jacob, shall be gathered again, but they had remained until when the times of the Gentile are done. 2024, done, as I told you, they shall not have any power over you. Curse, 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 choice B, same portion, 79, Verse 50, woe unto the Gentile, woe unto the Gentile, woe unto the Gentile. Those day cometh 2024 to 2027. Say of the Lord told, I will cut off Esau, the Gentile. Go my Gentile, get them cut off. Children of Israel, it's not done as yet. Verse 54, I will execute vengeance, vengeance, and fury upon the Gentiles. So if you want this fury to be handed down to you, stay connected to the Gentile and see what's coming your way. Such as they never heard before. Vengeance coming to the Gentile. Get off. The Gentile bandwagon while you still have the chance. Let them go. Let go. The Gentile children of Israel. Charles A. again. Revelation 3 verse 5. Blessing. He thought. He the man of thought. He the woman of thought. That overcome shall be closed in your white garments. Coming. Your way, you have been made an angel of the Father, the Most High. Yeah, your paper, hey. children of Israel. Proverbs 23, verse 21. The curse I will give back to you because I mentioned it already. Drunkard, gluttony food, 
gluttony, all those busy eating impure food shall remain in poverty, famine, poor health, spiritual death, and shall not get no garment of white, no white garment. They're staying in their rags. That's what is coming their way. Children, the Lord those has put before you Judah, Jerusalem, Israel, Levi, the garment of light. If you're following his commandment, garment of filthy rod. If you continue to follow the Gentile ways, choose your garment of light. Children of Israel, choose Zechariah 3 verse 4. Don't speak unto your saying, take away the filthy garment from the son of man, King Louis at that time, and from Judah, Levi, Israel. Take away their rugs garment. Take away the filthy garment from him. Behold, I cause your inequity to pass over 2024 to 2027, the last Half of your seven year pass over. Take it away from Jacob. I will close you, Jacob, in white garment. In white garment. Yes. Did you hear me a while ago? I will close you, Jacob, Lewis. Lois, Lois, and Israel, Levi, Judah, I will change your clothes and put on your white garment on you. Giving you back your garment. That's where throw out your filthy garment, your filthy rock. Put on your pure white garment. I told your children of Israel, you're getting back your purple garment. You're getting back your blue garment. You're getting back your seven rainbow over your head. So, children of Israel, if you want to stay in the curse, Zechariah 3 verse 3. Now, Joshua was clothed in filthy garment. Want to stay in it? How you want to get your garment change to your garment of light. This is coming your way. Make yourself ready and available. Get out of the way. Lego your gentile. Lego vicar. Lego Canaan. Lego Benelli. Lego Balham. Lego Balim. Lego Bal. Lego Dagon, Lego, Dragon, let go all of them. If you don't want to skip your garment of white, your change of clothes to your change of white. Raiment, children, Revelation 3 verse 5, the blessing. He told people that overcome all that has happened to them, all that is going to happen now until 2024, moving in into 2027. Garment of white raiment, white light, your seven rainbow put back on you. You become the father's orphan name. Of a name has told unto you in Revelation 21. Your number became one, four, four, one plus four plus four equal nine. The number of an angel. How you can stay with Proverb 23. Verse 21. Stay in your garment of filthy rags if you want to choose that option. Children of Israel, keys of Enoch, 316, to give you an idea of what is coming your way. Prepare yourself. That is the message. Prepare for the return of the children of light. Judah, Levi, Israel, they shall shine. There will be no comparison of the light 
which is shining around them. Children of Israel. Children of Israel, your white garment, your body of light coming back to you. No matter what, these fallen beings and they set up Goma Gentile to come supervise you. No matter what they do, none of them can stop your white garment unless you decide to stop it yourself. Verse 112. And you, in your body of light, in your white garment, will see the lights shoot forth seven colors coming your way, children of Israel. And you will shine most exceedingly in measurable light coming your way again, children of Israel. Judah, Levi, Remnant of Israel, talking to you. This is describing you. You might not believe now because the Gentile and Jezebel, because the Gentile and Jezebel, because the Gentile, the Gentile and Jezebel have brainwashed you into thinking something else that you are not. None of that is you. Prepare yourself. Your light body, your garment of light, your raiment of light, coming to collect your back. Praise the Enoch. 316, 114. There will be a lightness to the appearance of what? Fire that will flow downward from your shoulder. Did you hear me? Fire flowing from your shoulder all the way down. Flame within flame, flame within flame, and from your hips upward, fire blazing off your children of Israel. There will be something like the appearance of an electron go yellow glow off. Your body, it cometh so that a brilliant energy glow is several inches of your body. Children of Israel, come in your way. Brothers of light, children of light, sons of God, arise, oh sons of God. You hear me now, you hear me well. Arise, this is you. Sons of God, you are. No more, nor broken down. Servant of your servant. Yes, did you hear me? No more servant of your servant. Your servant and all those running your servant. Hey, going back into their right place. In the morning, 2024 to 2027. Keys of Enoch, 316, 115. In the morning of the new age, 2024 to 2027. The last half of your past. Oh, Jesus. Lewis, that is the code word for Jesus. Lewis, and the Lords of Life, the sons of God, will descend from above. Coming your way, children. You are the lords of light, the saints, the elect at that time, children. I heard your cry and I sent you. Said yes, these lords of light, these brothers of light that gave back their white garment and fire flowing from their shoulder to their waist. Several inches of their body. Fire blazing. Children of Israel. Lamentation 3 verse 25. The Lord God. Melchizedek. Yahweh Adonai is good. Good as good can be. To them. Those. Them. Those. Them. Those. People of those. Wait for him. Wait for the Lord, he tell you, 2024, I'm coming to collect and visit your children of Israel. The souls wait for those, seek those, those souls 
those living souls that I put in a body and created in Genesis 2, verse 7. Souls have thought, seek him. Thought your Lord is good to those who seek and wait for him. Hold firm until I come. Hold fast until I come. Revelation 2 verse 25. Thought which you have already. You have the Lord thought already. Hold fast till thought send his servant to you. Those brothers of light and your son of man, King Louis at that time, coming for you. Hold that fast. Giving you your fast over and over so you can get back your vibratory range in green and above. Hold fast. Don't let those deceivers deceive you any longer. Get right up as well. That's the message I give unto you for your blessing and for your curse. Choose life, your blessings. Coming to leave the message that the time of the wicked is done. Lamentation 3 verse 25. The Lord thought Melchizedek is good, good to his children. Good to them. Don't wait on him. Don't wait for him to the soul that he put here in Genesis 2 verse 7. Those souls, don't seek him. That is your blessing coming back to your children of April. Jeremiah 29 verse 10. Say at the Lord though. Say at the Lord though. Notice that that is capital T. Why is that that capital T? After seventy years. 1954. To 2024 be accomplished at Babylon, America, where the Gentiles are ruling over you at that time. 70 years in Babylon. Yes, those 70 years are done, children of Israel. I will visit you and perform my good word to you. Good for good, coming back to the children of Judah, Levite, Israel. Lamentation 3 verse 25, the Lord is good. Coming back after 70 years are done in your treatment, in your life, in Babylon. Amen. Rika, ruled by the Canaan, ruled by the Chaldean. Ruled by the Philistine. Ruled by Goma Gentile. They put in charge and supervising him. Jezebel. After those 70 years are done. I will visit the children of Levi. The children of Judah. The children of Israel. And perform my good word. My regenerative seed. Towards you. That is the message I'm here to give you today. Causing Judah, causing Levi, causing Israel to return. Hear me now, children of Israel. Return to your rightful place. Ruler of this planet. Crown put back on your head. Spiritual Mount Zion set up back in Denver, Colorado. Land of promise in the southeast of America. New Jerusalem set up in Central Florida. King Louis, Jerusalem back on the throne. Giving you your information. After the better years, seek me out. The 70 years are done, firmly decided once again. Revelation 2 verse 25. Those which you have already, those which you have already, hold fast, hold fast. 
till I come. Stand strong, oh children of Judah. Stand strong, oh children of Levi. Stand strong, oh children of Israel. Stand strong, oh Ephraim. Stand strong, oh Jacob. Stand strong. Gentile, although you give so much trouble, we love you just the same. In the name of the Most High, Ela, Ya, Yotepahuhe, Elohim, Neta Raf Neta, God in your modern day name, Kodowish, 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 Yotepahuhe, Sepachot, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, Say, but John, thank you once again, my Lord. Your blessings, your blessings has come back to your children. Show us the blessing you gave us choice A, the eternal life choice. Thank you, my Lord, forever and forever. We are indebted to you. We are sorry for walking away from you, for moving to false God, little G God, lowercase G God, lowercase Lord. We shall not. Let that happen again. The Levites are back. Law on top of law. Your law and commandments shall stand and hold firm. Thank you, my Lord. Kodowish, Kodowish, Kodowish. Adonai, Sebajoth. Thank you for giving us the ending at the beginning. Always, my Lord. Thank you. My Lord, we stand strong in your name. Lord Thoth, Melchizedek, Jehovah, Adonai, thank you.